Bolo, brother Billy. Bolo, brother Anthony. Brother Billy. I know it looks like I've been through the ringer. I've probably done it. Ah, don't matter, look. Brother Billy, as you well know, because I ain't seen you in a while, because you ain't been here because the, uh, what are we in a university? University, the difference between a university and a college, a university gives out PhDs, right? Colleges just get messed up, well, it doesn't matter. It's been done, done, I mean, shut down. But it's just, it's not here, University of Florida, it was all over the country. They had some gripes. But look, when this thing started to unfold a week ago, <coughs> I was with some students who was waiting for the, you know, the, the student representative council was having a meeting with the administration, and I will get to that later. And so the students, I was saying, look, this is not going to come to no good. And they were saying, well, what would you do? What would you do? I said, one thing I wouldn't do is negotiate with these guys. And they look at me, well, you got to negotiate with the administration. I said, isn't this the same administration? where they had two guys in there that stole millions of rands. Then they negotiated, those guys negotiated, got a little handshake. They went off with the millions of rands. We didn't take their house, their, their cars, nothing like that. And they're off, and in fact, they stick it where it has it. I don't like to spread rumors or nothing like that. But because of the, the, their position, they had put other people in position. Those other people in position are still in there, which means they still have influence in the administration, you know? Which also means that they can still cause that. Well, the point I was trying to make is like, how do you negotiate with those guys who negotiated basically the money that would pay for you because there were some issues like they don't want to raise no fees. Well, they took millions of rand that, that could have been put to fees so you can negotiate with the. Well, I agree. But you know, I'm not in student government or nothing like that, so I just want to stay out of it. I just was trying to, you know, and then we had, I had a good discussion with them. We talked about some other stuff, you know. That was made me a little bit clear on some stuff. But then, the same day, the SRC had a good idea. They said, let's negotiate outside. We're going to ask our question outside for all the students. It was about the staff center, the administration. It was a big like thing like that. One big problem. See, I'm a communications person. I know this is going to come to that great. They only had a pool horn. A lot of people pool horn. You know, you couldn't really hear. You know, they should have got a sound. We won't get into that. Anyway. The problem was that when all that was done, you know, first of all, I don't want to talk bad about the vice chancellor, but he came out waving like a politician. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Whoa, hey, no. The funny thing in the newspaper, you see the newspaper, that picture the next day, you know, he's talking, he's talking on the phone. There's a, uh, I guess this is guy, I don't know who the guy was, but I don't want to say it this way, but I have to say it this way. There was a white guy. I guess he's some person on the board or something like that. Then the vice chancellor, then a bunch of people in the administration. And the only person that looked like it was like serious to him was the white guy. I don't know what that was. Maybe just because of the crowd. I had no idea. But some some guy looked like he was laughing. And another guy was there. It's just the way the picture was taken. I don't know how pictures are. Because that's what I'm trying to say. It's going to come to naught because the press. Well then, you know, whatever pictures take, pictures says a thousand words, whatever is filtered through and reported, what you're going to see, like for instance, one of the things in the article said that the head of the RC took the bullhorn and was yelling in the vice chancellor's ear, in the face and something like that. Well, you know, that's not going to come to naught. Anyway, so one thing led to another, and, another, and, another, and, another, and then we ended up just like last year, burning tires, people, da 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 da, you know, the destruction, man. This time it was like really bad because. Well, I'll say that for some other time. Let me just say this. The problem is that, you know, in the midst of all this, you have some people that were up to it and say, no good. It's always that in the crowd. You have a crowd, you have a mob, of course you're going to have elements in the thing. And then, and then, and then, and then. So, there you go. So we ended up all week of you know mayhem and da 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 and closing roads for no particular reason. But that road, guess what? That road was pretty open pretty soon because you know the taxi association wasn't going to have that. <laughs> it was going back and forth to King and all that stuff. You know. Anyway, 
so so that but then and then and finally I think something's happened. But look, I'm just too resourceful to talk right now. I'll talk to you another time about it. Anyway, this has been one of those dispatches from the arch director of murders. I know it didn't make no sense, but don't worry about it. I'll talk to you again some other time. Because it's me, T from the Patterson's taking the train to the bed letting you know what I only suspect. Thank <laughs> you.